Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. In tonight's segment, let's navigate an intriguing labyrinth that often takes place in history. When we study certain figures, we have to separate the person that they truly were from the legends that have overtaken their legacy. Often, the legend is based in reality, but reality is usually quite different. Let's do that tonight by going back to the twilight of the Middle Ages in Eastern Europe. Let's explore a man that has become one of the most legendary figures in history, a brutal prince who also showed fierce loyalty to his Christian heritage, especially in the face of the invading Muslims. Let's explore the story of Prince Vlad Dracul of Transylvania. The mythical character Dracula, the famous vampire of the literary horror genre, finds its birth in this historic late medieval prince from Eastern Europe. The name Dracul, which history remembers as Prince Vlad's surname, is not actually a last name, but rather a derivative of the Latin word Draco, which means dragon. Vlad's father was a knight in the Order of the Dragon, a late medieval fraternity of Christian knights dedicated to defending Christendom from the Ottoman Turks, who were lurking on Christendom's doorstep in Eastern Europe. Vlad would dedicate his life to the defense of Christendom, but in an utterly infamous way. Born in Transylvania in 1431, Vlad was a victim of the violent late medieval world in which he lived. As an 11-year-old boy, Vlad was taken as a prisoner of the Ottoman Sultan Murad II to ensure that his father, the Prince of Wallachia, would succumb to Ottoman rule in the region. Vlad was released in 1448 after his father's assassination. He then embarked on a furious quest to recapture his father's position, a quest that lasted the remainder of his life. From these early horrors, Vlad became a ferocious military leader who did not shy away from brutally punishing his enemies. He became known throughout history as Vlad the Impaler for his practice of impaling his foes on high stakes after battles as a warning. One specific incident of this was in 1462 when he led a massacre of thousands of Ottoman Turks and left them impaled to intimidate the Ottomans who had caused him such trouble in his youth. Vlad and the Wallachians were instrumental in spurring the oncoming tide of Turks into Christian Europe, but they could not stop it. He died in 1476, most likely in battle, at the age of 45. The legends surrounding Vlad are many, including one that he drank the blood of his victims, most likely leading to the same characteristic found in horror vampires. No matter the truthfulness of these tales, one thing is certain. Vlad the Impaler left his mark on Western civilization as both a fierce warrior and a ruthless warlord. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History.